In today's episode of Hobby Eats, we try Arby's new Petite Filet Sandwiches. We have the garlic butter and the steak and bacon. Let's go ahead and crack these guys open and take a look at what they look like. There we go. Wow, that looks good. Here we go. Now, I like this bun that they put them on. Well, here we have the um, butter garlic, which has a butter garlic sauce. At least that's what it should. And it has bacon on it as well. Interesting. And then there is that butter garlic sauce. Lettuce, tomato, the petite filet steak, and bacon. And then just the uh, bacon steak version has some cheddar cheese, bacon, their onion straws, and then of course that steak meat, and then some kind of other sauce um, that looks uh, almost mayonnaise based, a little bit of a cream type, spicy cream sauce maybe. Very interesting. Let's go ahead and give these a try. And we'll see what we think. I had a nice bite right here. Try to get a little bit of everything in there. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. Let's see here. Wow, you can see how juicy that steak is. Very juicy, very tender. You would never imagine this was coming from a fast food restaurant. I'm not getting a whole bunch in the garlic butter flavor profile. Um, they probably need a bunch more of that sauce for it to really come through. Um, but I do like the textural change of having the lettuce and tomato, I would have loved there to also have been like some onion on here or something to again add to that. Let's go ahead and give the bacon steak version a try with its crispy onions, probably a Southwest sauce, and then of course all of that bacon. It does look to be about the same amount of bacon as on this one, so it's interesting that they specifically call this one out as having bacon where this one they did not. Hmm. Yeah. What I think probably would have been the best would be get rid of that. Let's go over here. Let's move that down. There we go. There we go. Now let's, here we go. There we go. So now we have that onion that I kind of wanted that flavor and that crisp. Let's see if we can make our own better version of their sandwich. Oh yeah. That's definitely the better way to go. I like that a lot better. So definitely a winner. This sandwich is definitely a winner. It's definitely a go out and get it, go out and try it. Um, if you do get it, I would highly recommend, um, you get the steak and bacon version and ask them to add the, um, lettuce, tomato, and even raw onion if, if they'd be willing to do it. Um, but so that's how I would do it. Um, very good, very surprising, um, to be coming from a fast food restaurant, uh, this kind of meat, um, and this level of juiciness within that. Um, shouldn't surprise me too much. I do really love Arby's and that uh, brisket sandwich they have uh, going in their Oktoberfest with their beer cheese pretzel was extremely juicy and, and delicious as well. I, I, I definitely believe Arby's is upping their game and this is just more proof of that. Well, guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.